Today we will remember not only the original Anzacs who served at Gallipoli and the Western Front, but commemorate more than a century of service by Australian servicemen and women. Throughout this military action, the Australians displayed great courage, endurance, initiative, discipline and mateship. Heavenly Father, we thank you for all the efforts being made by the nations of the world in seeking peace and building happier relationships with each other. We praise you for that spirit born in men and women which allows them to disregard their own safety and devote themselves to the cause of freedom and right. Grant, O oh God, that the same courage and resolution, the same comradeship and the service shown in each great struggle in which our country was involved may also be offered in the greatest task of making a true and lasting peace. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 100 years ago, Australian and New Zealand Army Corps troops were completing their final kit checks before embarking on ships for an amphibious assault on the shores of Turkey. We gather today in this pre-Anzac Day ceremony to honour the spirit of those Australian and New Zealand servicemen who sacrificed their lives for ideals that we appreciate more keenly in 2015. Australia and New Zealand defence personnel serve shoulder to shoulder today and display the same attributes we honour today in those original Anzacs.